the Sentinel or model number COTA-94 is a weapon of mass destruction that was created out of fear and hatreds for mutants. It is a heartless killing machine that is hell-bent on the eradication of mutant kind. He has a rocket punch and the Sentinel Force. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently ranked as the first S tier character, which means he is the highest ranking character in Marvel 2. But what is it about Sentinel that makes him such a lethal force? To find out, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1. And this is Sentinel's move list for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Sentinel moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, let's take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Rocket Punch. The Rocket Punch is a long range melee attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The Light Punch version aims the Rocket Punch at a downwards angle, while the Fierce Punch variation shoots it across horizontally. This move can be performed in mid air and it's definitely a great combo finisher. Also, the Rocket Punch has an anti-air version that can be done. To do the move, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. And it can be done in mid-air as well. Not only the Rocket Punch is a great combo finisher, but you can also link it to Hyper Combos. Finally, you can retract the Rocket Punch early by pressing back in any punch while performing the attack. So, yep. So you can stop it from reaching the opponent. And that's it. The Sentinel Force is when the Sentinel summons a mini army to attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. And it looks like this. Now this move has two variations as well. To do the projectile version, do the move with light kick. This version is great for zoning and adding pressure. The second variation is called Carpet Bomb. This is where he calls the Sentinel Force to drop bombs on the opponent. To do the Carpet Bomb version, do the move with Fierce Kick. Also, you can delay the bomb drop by holding the Fierce Kick button. So if you do the move and just tap Fierce Kick, they release the bombs on sight. But if you hold the Fierce Kick button, you can delay the bomb drop. The Sentinel Force is a great move and as an assist, it is one of my favorites in the game. So Flight works just like Iron Man and Dr. Doom. To initiate the move, do a quarter circle back plus both key buttons.
Now, for the sentinel size, he moves surprisingly fast while flying. In flight mode, the sentinel has access to all his normals. And just like other fighters, the sentinel has eight-way directional flight. He can also perform moves such as a rocket punch and a hard drive. But perhaps one of the greatest things about flight is a mode called unfly. Unfly is a mode where you can attack or block after deactivating flight. See, normally when you deactivate flight, you can't move or block or attack. It's just a straight drop to the ground. However, if you get hit while in midair, unfly is automatically activated. From my understanding, you can super jump and use flight with unfly mode. But if you use a normal jump or if you get knocked to the ground, then it will be deactivated. Unfly mode is a bug that most players take advantage of and it has the potential to make Sentinel vicious while on the offensive. Sentinel Super Armor is a passive ability which works just like the Hulk and Juggernaut being that he's able to absorb one hit before going into hit stun. Also, he has the highest defense in the game which means he can take more abuse and punishment. He takes 25% less damage from any incoming attack which is an insane trait to have. Sentinel has two throws in the game, press forward and fierce punch for a rocket punch toss. Press forward and fierce punch in mid-air for an aerial rocket punch toss. Okay. Sentinel has one way to do the launcher. Press fierce kick to pop him up. The Sentinel doesn't really have any command normals, but let's take a closer look at his Fierce Punch. So, the standard Fierce Punch itself is a mouth laser. Also, he can fire this from the crouching position as well. Once you catch the opponent, you can link the Fierce Punch into a Fierce Rocket Punch. If you have meter, you can then go into a hyper sentinel force, but more on this later. You can do the sentinel's taunt by pressing the select button. If you're playing the Dreamcast version, then press light kick plus start to do the taunt. So, if you play X-Men Children of the Atom, you should be very familiar with this move. The Plasma Storm was Sentinel Original Hyper. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move works only at close range, but it racks up hits very fast. Fortunately, it's really easy to combo into, and this move does excellent chipping damage. Also, being that this Hyper is an energy type attack, a blocking Iceman will receive no chip damage. Make sure to match on the buttons for more hits. The second hyper I would like to cover is called a hard drive. This is the move where Sentinel flies into the enemy for multiple hits. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. The 
The hard drive is an excellent secondary hyper. It should be used at the end of air combos or after an assist juggle. The only real drawback is that this move can only be done in midair. But being that the Sentinel is a literal god in the air, it basically balances itself out. The Hyper Sentinel Force is the Sentinel's third and final Hyper. This is the move where Sentinel summons nine mini Sentinels in pairs of threes. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This attack by four is Sentinel's most lethal Hyper. The Hyper Sentinel Force can be comboed into just about anything while the Sentinel is on the ground. He even has a finite combo with it. It's not infinite because you need meter to keep it going. get the picture. So as you can see, this move can eviscerate the opponent and have any same person questioning humanity. To do the fast fly combo, perform the following. Do a neutral jump, then press light kick, fierce kick, jump forward, light kick, fierce kick, quarter circle back plus both kicks, then light kick, fierce kick, quarter circle forward plus light punch. Now you have to do this in rapid session. Here's what to expect when you use Sentinel as an assist character. Sentinel's alpha assist will attack the enemy with a light punch, rocket punch. His beta assist will use a standing fierce kick or launcher And his gamma assist will perform a light kick sentinel force. Overall, Sentinel is an absolute monster once you learn his mechanics. With his arsenal, he can hit his foes from just about anywhere on screen. And I also have to mention that his flight speed is incredibly fast. And when you add fast fly and unfly into the mix, it's going to be a dark day for the opponent. His melee attacks do high damage, plus he does chip damage with them on block. But besides the high damage and combos, his greatest strength lies in his zoning. Sentinel's zoning abilities are godlike and is a master at controlling space and distance. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Sentinel. Use all versions of the Rocket Punch as well as the Anti-Air one when zoning the opponent. Also, remember that he can do the anti-air version in mid-air. While zoning the opponent, make sure to throw in a sand and fierce punch. If it connects, it can lead into a rocket punch, which can lead into a hyper sentinel force. If you catch them with the tilt before this one, you can keep repeating the combo as long as you have meter. Learning unfly with the sentinel is a must and it is something I'm still learning myself. It is very important because it can open up more combo opportunities. Whenever using the Sentinel as an assist, make sure to use the Gamma one, which is the Light Kit Sentinel Force. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.